Did you know that in 2011's Worms Ultimate Mayhem, the normally boring legal stuff screen isn't actually boring? Now, I won't bother reading the entire thing to you now, I value your time too much for that, but it's definitely worth pausing the video and reading it for yourself. Hello and welcome to Hidden Video Game Details, the series that aims to show you things that you may not have known about your favourite games. Make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments down below, and of course, a huge thank you to my Patreon backers and YouTube channel members for their awesome support. To learn more, click the link in the description. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, before we get started, I wanted to briefly revisit the fish tank detail from Die Hard Vendetta that we covered in episode 127. Now, loads of you asked what would happen to the tuna if you completely drained the tank. Well, the poor little guy didn't make it, which either makes this detail cooler or makes it a bit sadder. I'll let you guys decide. Up next is WWE 2K23. Now, at this point, we've covered loads of hidden dialogue in 2K23, but you guys keep suggesting more dialogue that I've missed. Today's examples can be seen in the game's training mode. If you ignore the instructions of Xavier Woods and stand idle outside of the ring, several lines of dialogue can be heard. We want Cena! We want Cena! Uh, Earth to Xavier, I think we might have lost him. 2K rocks! 2K rocks! Now, don't get me wrong, these aren't as great as the wrestler specific commentaries we've heard in previous episodes, but they are cool. The other 2K23 detail that I wanted to share was actually added to the game in a recent update. Here, take a look at how The Undertaker performs his iconic Tombstone pile driver. The dead man has decided this ends now! Tombstone! What devastation from The Undertaker! So after performing the move, The Undertaker is back on his feet and ready to inflict more damage. Well, if you perform the tombstone whilst The Undertaker is tired, this will happen. Ball. Taker has him up. Here we go. Rest in peace. Taker's about to end another fight. So The Undertaker was so tired that after finishing the move, he didn't have the energy to climb back to his feet. Oh, and it's not just The Undertaker that has different animations depending on how tired he is. Here is Shawn Michaels' iconic Sweet Chin music. Oh. Sweet Chin music from out of nowhere! Right on target from HBK. And here is how he performs the move when tired. Be moments away from being beaten. Rikishi come back from that? I hope it's not just me that thinks these animations are really cool. Just like you'd be really cool if you subscribed and turned notifications on. Speaking of really cool animations, up next is Street Fighter 6. Now, at the time of recording this video, Street Fighter 6 hasn't actually been released yet. But from the time I've spent with the demo, I think this game is going to be really, really good. Now, I'm not a fighting game expert. I used to play a bit of Tekken as a kid, and of course, I love the more recent Mortal Kombat games, but that's about it. Luckily, I can hone my skills in Street Fighter 6's training area, and it was when, in the training area, I noticed something awesome. The song that is playing in the training area when playing as Ryu is Ryu's theme. Well, if you wait long enough, this will happen. So Ryu's idle animation will sync up perfectly with his theme song, resulting in one of 2023's most satisfying details. Like I said, this is just the demo of Street Fighter 6, so fingers crossed for more details like this one when the full game is released. Next up is Hogwarts Legacy. Now, arachnophobia affects roughly 6% of the entire global population, which to some may not seem like a lot, but it's enough for video game developers to take note. Longtime viewers of this series may remember that all the way back in episode 52, we covered the arachnophobia mode in Satisfactory. Switching this mode on would turn all of the game's spiders into cat heads, which was somehow even creepier. Well, Hogwarts Legacy has also added an arachnophobia option in a recent update. Here is what spiders in the game look like normally, and here is what they look like when the mode is turned on. Take 
Tiger. Let me see. I mean, if I'm honest, they still look like spiders to me. But what is cool is how this mode turns the spiders into spiders with roller skates, just like Ron did in The Prisoner of Azkaban. Ridiculous! <laughs> Next up is a candidate for one of the most annoying details I've ever had to record. Wario World is a platforming game that released for the Nintendo GameCube in 2003. Unlike other Nintendo published platformers that were releasing at the time, mainly Super Mario Sunshine, Wario World is a much simpler experience. Now, the detail in Wario World can be found in the pause screen. If you pause the game, you will be subjected to this. So yeah, it's pretty annoying. Well, if you somehow manage to survive Wario's taunts for one whole hour, eventually this will happen. So Wario will apologise for taunting you, but only if you wait for an hour. If me listening to this poor screen for a whole hour isn't worth a like, then I don't know what is. Right, let's end today's video with the excellent Dead Island 2, and what is perhaps one of my favourite details in the game, even though I'm pretty sure I've said that before. In Emma's bedroom, she has a massive painting of herself on the wall, which, if I'm honest, seems pretty strange. Anyway, later on in the game story, Emma gives her house to her cleaner, Andrea, and if we look at the spot where Emma's picture used to be, it's no longer there. Now, that's cool enough, but if we head outside, we can find this. So Andrea wasted no time in throwing Emma's picture in the trash. It's a really clever detail that I'm guessing a lot of people wouldn't have noticed. The other Dead Island 2 detail is just pure genius. At Venice Beach, you can fight this guy. <laughs> So this particular zombie, known as a firestorm slobber, can be found in other areas of the game and spits fire at you. Now, the more observant among you may have noticed that this zombie is wearing some very fancy bling around his neck. The bling in question is a golden microphone, so I think we're meant to assume that this zombie, who spits fire, was a rapper before the outbreak. Now, I think that this is meant to be a play on the saying that rappers spit fire when on the mic and I just realised that saying that statement made me feel really, really old and really, really white. Anyway, not only did this man spit fire on the mic when alive, but he also spits fire when he's dead. Like I said, it's a really, really cool detail. 